Hey guys. All right. You know, I always say hey guys. Wonder why. Anyway, uh, hanging out in the backyard here in urban hell. You can see my, uh, my hoop house here where I grow my veggies. I even have a little well right there. See that? I don't know if you can see that well, a little red. But I don't show a lot of that. Hey, there's the pop up. You guys don't see much of that anymore, but still have it. You can hear that dog barking in the background. That's Stewie. Um, but even here at the house, you've seen the fire pit, which which we will uh, be upgrading very shortly. It's uh, on its way out, but you see my charcoal going here. And we have... some buffalo chicken with spices it's a stick of butter in the center there in case you're wondering but this is the camp made set got it for Christmas yeah this video is after Christmas and uh, we're gonna probably put that on for a good three to four hours tonight uh, under charcoal and I'll start it off with regular charcoal and then use some of the fire pit charcoal towards the end. Um, basically just to just to do uh, lunches, you know, like a pulled buffalo chicken um, for the week coming up. But I figured I would uh, record this and uh, upload it for you guys. All right, guys. Well, I got to get things going here, and I will uh, keep you posted as I go. All right, guys. Well, like I said, got the 10-inch Dutch oven going here by Camp Made. Some spare charcoal going on in there, and then once the fire burns down, um, I'll use some of the coals from that to keep it going. We're kind of doing this like a slow cook, um, so probably keep it going for about four hours. I'll update you as we go along. All right. Well. As you can see here, this is the camp made lid lifter stand. Um, right now, you know, I didn't do an unboxing or anything like that. It's just kind of like real life uh, using it at the moment. I will do a full. And we're just going to spin this pot. Um, I find the, the little hook right here is a little small for the actual lid. Okay, so there you go. That's buffalo chicken. Bubbling away. You know, like I said when I started, this is kind of a informal uh, familiarization of you know the camp made products um, I have the lid lifter here which is awesome it looks and is definitely well crafted stainless steel um, the whole nine yards I think the little hook on the end which works great for the bale okay um, I think it should be a little bit bigger so you can use it as well here. I mean, it works. Okay. Um, but that's that. Like I said, I'm, I'm more interested in cooking dinner and lunches for the week right now than I am uh, showcasing the product. So this is for you guys just to give you a heads up on what I'm working on. You know, I'm in the backyard here. Lots of wood. You know, if you guys, my wood pile is definitely significant. Okay. Um, there was a time when I had nine cords back here, and now I'm probably down to about two. But I 
I've always uh, said that it's real life on BTV, and it really is. So here we are. If I uh, can't be out in the woods, then I still have to be outside. I still have to be outdoors doing what I normally do. Just because I don't film it doesn't mean it doesn't. it's not happening. All right, guys. Well, till the next part. Hey, guys. All right, check it out. I kind of understand now why the hook wasn't uh, big enough. Because you're supposed to use the lid lifter this way, not just that little hook right there. And then you can put it right back on. And then when you put it down, it doesn't get in the, you know, it's up off the ground. So, starting to figure it out. And uh, that's kind of why I'm doing this video. So that, you know, we can kind of learn together. Um, and then I can do a formal video. In the it's actually ashes, not snow. All right, guys. Well, my chicken is done. Buffalo chicken. Look at that red glow. Uh, this wasn't really a cooking video, so um, not going to do a taste test. Like I said, it's really just for lunches throughout the week. Possibly even a snack tonight, but, you know, pretty much it. I'm going to stoke the fire, put some more wood on after I bring this in. You know me and my cast iron. That worked out very well, I must say. So, we're going to put it over here, we'll bring it in the house, and, uh, shred it, and get ready for lunches through the week. Alright guys, I'm not sure if I'll be back for another installment on this video, so if I'm not, Happy New Year, and we'll talk to you soon.